let's talk about macadamia nuts. One of my favorite nuts. One of the best things about macadamia nuts is that they are loaded with palmitoleic acid, an omega-7 fatty acid. Now, a study of rats has shown that consumption of omega-7 fatty acids can induce the feeling of satiation and enhance the release of satiety hormones. It can also improve bowel movements and prevent weight gain. Now, Dr. Stephen Rosen from the Cleveland Clinic has written papers showing the benefit of omega-7 in preventing coronary artery disease for much the same reason also shown that palmitoleic acid can benefit hair, skin, and nails. So all of my female listeners and male listeners who want great nail, hair, and skin, macadamia nuts are one of the best ways to get it. Now the problem is macadamia nuts contain only about 11 to 27 percent omega-7s. So to really get the big benefits from omega-7s that were used in these studies, you'd have to eat a lot of nuts. And as I said before, if I want to produce weight gain in my patients, one of my favorite ways of doing that is to have them eat tons, I mean tons of macadamia nuts, like at least two cups a day. Now, there's another way around it. Macadamia nut oil gives you the concentrated amount of omega-7 that you need without the bulk, if you will, of the nuts themselves. But any omega-7 is better than none at all. Now, the good news about macadamia nuts is they're naturally low in sugar and carbohydrates. So as a nut, They're very low on sugars that a lot of nuts actually have that are hidden in that nut. There's also essential nutrients like dietary fiber and antioxidants. Now, the problem with macadamia nuts is there are 204 calories in 10 macadamia nuts. Let me show you that just so you're aware. Okay. There's 200 calories of macadamia nuts. Folks, that's not even a useful handful. And that's why one of the ways, if you really want to gain weight, is get yourself a bunch of macadamia nuts. Now, there's only two grams of protein in those 10 nuts. There's 21 and a half grams of fat, but 80% of the fat is actually monounsaturated fat, like in olive oil, oleic acid. Carbohydrates, there's a measly 3.9 grams of carbohydrates. That's less than a teaspoon full of sugar. There are about two and a half, three grams of fiber in those 10 nuts, and those are great. But as long as you limit the amount, they'll have some real health benefits for you, particularly from the omega-7. So watch yourself. I really recommend no more than a half a cup of macadamia nuts a day, and preferably spread them out throughout the day. Now, interestingly, despite everything I've just said, there is some evidence that macadamia nuts can actually support a healthy weight. A study among healthy Japanese women found that women who ate macadamia nuts lost some weight after three weeks of eating them compared to those who ate coconut or butter. Well, in a way, duh. But it just shows that if you're looking for certain fats, macadamia nuts may have an advantage. Now, don't know how to incorporate macadamia nuts into your diet? I've got tons of recipes with macadamia nuts and macadamia nut oil in all my books. From hummus to salad, it's super simple to get these amazing benefits when you eat macadamia nuts. And for a real fun treat, change over and add some macadamia nut oil to your salad dressing, or for an interesting taste treat, drizzle it on your vegetables and see what you think. It's a great way to get concentrated omega-7. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Dr. Gundry podcast. Make sure to check out the next one here. So 
just adding pistachios to a perfect Mediterranean diet improved things even more.